What do you believe about yourself? There's no school to go to. There's no contract to sign. There's none of that. What do you believe about yourself? What is the story that you are telling about yourself? This is what creates your reality. This is what hip-hop is. It's nothing else. We told a story. We sang. We said a hip-hop, a hip-hip-hop. You know that dude that was on stage with me last night? His name is Love Bump Starsky. And I know he don't look like much. But that dude, out of his mouth, came the most powerful word on earth. Hip-hop. Imagine him just, him and Busy P, they over there just cutting and scratching, having fun. He grabs the mic and says, a hip-hop, a hip-hip-hop. And that becomes a bill ten billion dollar annual culture global. He said last night, I wish I had a copyright. <laughs> because imagine if he did, it, hip hop would not be as large though. The only way it could be this way is if we all share it. And that's what Grandmaster Flash said when we was at the United Nations declaring hip hop an international culture. I said right there to Grandmaster Flash, why don't you get up and tell these people you created cutting, mixing, and scratching. He said, no, Chris, I can't. I, I'm not going to do this. It's in all the books. Everybody know it, but I'm not going to. I said, what's up, Flash? Why are you not going to do that? And he said unequivocally, because we give these arts freely to the public. Freely. Imagine, this is Grandmaster Flash. He invented cutting, mixing, and scratching. He don't want to say it, but he did. The idea of cutting a record, the, the, the coordination between moving a vinyl record and throwing the cross fader over to hear it, pulling it back, pulling this over, that's Grandmaster Flash. Nobody was doing that before him. Nobody. But he's so humble. He just says, nah, I'm not going there with all that. Just We gave it to the public. We gave it to our children. This is what it is. Imagine if the pioneers didn't do that. Imagine if they had the attitudes that we have today. I gotta own mine. I gotta keep everything to myself. I, this is mine. Where would the culture be? No. Oh. Self mastery. I had nothing. I mastered MC. When I mastered my crowd, suddenly a homeless dude with nothing can now be on stage getting past the mic by whoever. Master your craft, your value goes up. Here's, here's what's known. The university wants facts, not your opinion. Your facts have to be backed up. It's called retrievable facts. So when you say, I'm a hip hop scholar, here's the first thing you start with. What is hip? Hip means to know. Hip don't mean nothing else. Oh, it'll actually your hips. <laughs> yeah, hips. Uh, hip is also a form of depression. Hip, to feel hip. This is all English terms. We don't use these terms anymore. What we use is hip means awareness. I'm hip to this. Are you hip to this? Yes, hip. The last poet used to say hipping. Uh, last poem is hipping many cats, hipping many cats. Hip, hip, to put you up on something. Hip, awareness. It comes from the African Wolof tribe. It was called hippie cat, H-I-P-I dash C-A-T. Hippie cat. It meant one whose eyes are open. One who is aware of one's environment. This is ancient African. This is ancient. That Africans were calling themselves, or calling others who are aware, hippie cats. And notice the word cat. We've been calling ourselves cats, dogs, and other animals like lions and eagles long before America. Snoop Dogg has a long history behind it. Those that know about comedic knowledge go right to Julie. It's how you see hip-hop that's going to determine how it responds to you. If you only see Snoop Dogg as, well, I'm just Snoop and I'm smoking that and I'm chilling. 
Well, that's your consciousness. Snoop declared himself a Rastaman. And he has to hold up to that principle. He went to the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. And got blessed right there in Jamaica. He can't front. Right? How do you see it? Well, let's keep it moving. Hip means to know. Hop. Springing upward. A springing upward to go forward. Hop. Hip hop. Hip consciousness. Awareness. Hop. Springing up. Moving forward. Springing up to move forward. Consciousness. Springing up. Awareness leaping up. This is what it means to be a hip hopper with an A on the end, H I P H O P P A. Hip hopper. What does that mean? I am aware. I am aware of my move, my movements. I am hip to my hop. I know why I move. I'm not moved by society. I'm not moved by temptation. I'm not moved by rumors and gossip and nonsense. I'm moved by my inner principles. That's what moves me. I am hip to my hop. I am aware of my movements. This is number one. That's all it is. Hip to my hop. Now move forward. To be hip means to be keenly aware. Is that important? Because we're unique. We're unique in the world. We are unique. And when you have that uniqueness, you have political power. We just got to realize it. We have political power. We are a force in the world. We just got to realize it. Word like sounds. This is where you're going to be in the university. Because this is what they talk about all the time. If you go into Hindu language, one of the oldest languages, Sanskrit, one of the oldest languages that are, has a lot, has a, that with Latin is behind English and Spanish and German and French and Portuguese and all of these European languages. The Sanskrit is, is most of the Sanskrit is behind that. So. We look at where this language come from, and, and I mentioned the Sanskrit because the Sanskrit is one of the oldest languages. They say that was originated from bird song, rhythmically rhyming in spoken words. This is how we learned to speak. MC is not just us rapping on the mic. This is a one.